What's up, guys? It's Oblivion Guy, and welcome to Assassin's Creed 3 Manhunt. Yeah. Um, sorry, I haven't been really posting much of this. It's just been. I really don't know. Oh, yeah, actually, I know why. There is a reason why I haven't really been posting that much Assassin's Creed. It's actually because I've actually found out some really interesting news, and that is that Ubisoft plans to release a new Assassin's Creed game every year. And they said that the fans would tell them when they would want to stop, you know, making Assassin's Creed games. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, so Assassin's Creed 4 is coming out, and I'm pretty excited about that. But the thing is, it's, it's kind of weird. Like, every year, you're going to make another story, a whole other new character, a new multiplayer. Sounds kind of familiar to Call of Duty, if you ask me. But, at least with Call of Duty, you know, Black Ops 2, the campaign was excellent. Multiplayer was great at the beginning, and then it just completely went south. Completely. It was, it was total garbage after the patch. But now it's, it's doing a little better than before, so I gotta give it some credit. At least they were trying. With Assassin's Creed 3 was good. My favorite is... My favorite all time is 2 and Brotherhood. I love those two. And I would, you know, play them again. Because of the, the whole changes in the system and stuff. With 4, it's, a, it's not even a continuation of 3. It's more like a, a prequel to 3 story-wise anyway but I think Kenway actually might put the series back up where it belongs because not that many people appreciated 3 mostly because of the really new mechanics but it's alright because you know the new mechanics and I thought they were good um, the way to make money was really aggravating but once you found out it was just second nature to you I wish it would have just been you know buying assets and stuff like they did in 2 Brotherhood and Revelations that you just had to waste a lot of time, which, you know, isn't bad. But the same thing goes for here, in a sense. The only thing I did love, I did like the the new the ship uh, sailing mechanics were really good compared to other games who tried doing sailing games, which didn't work out because of aggravating controls. But here, they gave you a lot of freedom, and once you got the upgrades, you were either you were pretty much good. But then again, some upgrades did worse than others. Like, you needed to get the the steering wheel right off the bat for the turning. The the wooden planks for extra health and stuff. That was... It wasn't, re it wasn't necessary, but you know you needed them. And you know you had to save up all the money to max out the ships. So then you could just make more money. And it was like a total kind of real-life business involved in making money in Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, for 4, I hope it's not the same. I really hope, like, you don't do trading. You can do trading, but just, like, have, like, companies or something. Like, buy them, buy ships, you know, that, like, sell. I don't know. I just, the, the money-making aspect needs to be there, but not, not like 3. Just, just change it up, please, for the better. Just, just make it so we just have to buy something, and then that's it. Because the way, um... Edward Kenway, I believe, is the new character. Yeah, the way he does it is he's going to be exploring a lot of the islands, such as the Bahamas, uh, Cuba, Jamaica. I was really, you know, as a person born in the Caribbean, I'm actually excited to see what kind of islands they were way back in the day compared to now. And I'd also hope that he'd be visiting, you know, my own <laughs> little country. I hope he'd visit Puerto Rico. That'd be really cool to see it way way back then when pirates and stuff were there maybe they still have the, the taino indians there i don't know it's all up to ubisoft though ubisoft could either make it really good or they might mess it up but i have faith in i have some faith in ubisoft because the whole the first time they ever introduced the multiplayer aspect of the game everyone was turning heads because they didn't know if this is going to be something annoying do we need to get used to this is this going to be bad or or what so and when the f multiplayer came out everyone was like what this is this is great you know they kept the same game mechanics all they had to do was change up the characters give you some perks 
some kill streaks kind of some some nice maps they're very beautiful and a nice mechanic and you're good and every year they kept expanding the uh, multiplayer aspect like they kept adding new modes they kept patching things kind of uh, i mean smoke bombs are still kind of i think they're broke but eh. i mean it's all right because everyone every top tier person uses smoke bombs to be honest that thing uh, you know everything else was pretty much fixed for the better um, anything else not really it's just you can't really fix that's that's the that's the main point here you can't fix what you didn't break like black ops 2 why'd you why'd you fix the game it was just fine in the game the servers okay yeah just just you should have just patched that assassin's creed um, I'm not really aware of any problems, mostly because, number one, I barely play the game, and when I do, it's like, for a good couple hours. And then I meet the people who have the Animus hack, and then I get upset, but, other than that, you know, this game is pretty solid, and it's really interesting and fun when you're on Manhunt, or any other game type of your preference. And I'll also make sure to try and cover other game types, because seeing Manhunt too much, you know, makes it kind of boring. From, from my point of view, anyway. It's just, it's like watching Call of Duty all the time, Team Deathmatch all the time, Kill Confirmed, Domination. It's the same game type match, you know. I'll be sure to definitely cover some other mo um, modes, like the Meat Wolf Pack. I think somebody else covered it, but I don't know. I think I like it. It's, it's a nice little step away from the rage of the online community sometimes that it gives you. And plus, it kind of promotes competitive gaming in a way, but in a good way. Because when you play online, obviously you have to be competitive. But when you're competitive to the point where you're using tactics, cheap tactics that, you know, all you want to do is win, then it's like, it, where's the fun in that, honestly? Everyone loves to win, but when you really have to spam and use all this nonsense, just, just for like a silly number on your record, it becomes kind of ridiculous, don't you think? It kind of does. That's why... That's why some of the best Call of Duty players don't pay attention to their kill death. Some of them. Not all of them. Um, for me, um, if I'm having fun, it means that, you know, I tried and nothing, no nonsense happened. Like, I don't know, Animus hack all the time. That, at that point, it had to stop. The Animus hack. No. No, not the Animus hack. I despise it is just like the easiest way to die if you're on that i mean you have to get to like level 50 something to get it but it's like ridiculously broke it homes in on you and instantly kills you it's not like a little marker it's not a marker that just tells you oh yeah he's hiding over here no it goes after the person that's hiding and it kills you and you get an instant like 400 xp from that just just from launching it it's ridiculous and it makes the game unfun for players like me who are under leveled but when you're over leveled i guess the animus hack doesn't work or maybe they have something to balance it out i hope so but then again they took away templar vision and that was like oh that was just so bad why'd you take away templar vision it was great that was a confirmed kill if you knew what you were doing but if you didn't then you were kind of screwed multi -kill. Because, you know, oh, he sees me, you know, he's gonna go after me. It's it's all it's all good, right? No, it's not. It's not all good. It is never all good when you have Templar vision on. In the hands of a skilled professional. Actually, yeah, it kind of makes sense now. In the hands of a skilled professional, if you had Templar vision, you would be able to help your buddy out if they were hiding in a group. You'd figure out who was the real person. You'd kill that real person, and then you get the assist, yeah. Hmm. But still, why'd you take away Templar Vision if every assassin supposedly has it? That's just, like, continuity. Not at its finest, but... Mostly... At a disadvantage. I guess we'll see, though, because... Like, like Ubisoft said, they're gonna keep making the game until the fans have their own response, like... Ubisoft, don't make this anymore. It's 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 done. You overplayed it. Just end the game series already. 
I mean, I don't know how they're going to continue it on. And Actually, yeah, they can. They can do filler for games and games and games. Until finally everyone's like, Ubisoft, what are you doing? Ubisoft, stop. And then finally just, you know, end the series. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe they'll just finally end the game. All the apples of Eden or something like that. I don't know. Somebody's going to come back to life. Zombie apocalypse. I, I have no clue what Ubisoft's thinking. But hopefully it'll be good. And, you know, when that comes out next Assassin's Creed, if it has online, I'll definitely cover that as well. My own opinions. My first match. Because online is really good. Well, most of the time it's really good to me. I don't know about anyone else. And that's about it for the manhunt. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and the... My own personal opinions. You guys can leave your own opinions in the comment section if you want. And you can also subscribe to my channel if you want any more updates on my videos. I'm Oblivion Guy, and I'll catch you guys later.